Today we are celebrating the completion of the Route 84 northern segment from the Jack London Boulevard to Concannon. Uh, the first of two phases to widen State Route 84, and the second of five planned phases of improving along this entire of improvements along this entire corridor. Following the completion of the new interchange at Interstate 580, this $36 million project widened the first 1.6 miles on State Route 84. The State Route 84 widening project is just one of many current transportation projects within the Tri Valley region. We are making great progress to our goal of providing congestion relief for this area. Two years ago, we gathered here to celebrate the completion of the Isabel interchange. Now, with the first of the two segments of the 84 widening project complete, residents of Livermore, Pleasanton, Dublin uh, will be able to use four lanes instead of two from Concannon Boulevard to Stanley and six lanes instead of two from Stanley to Jack Landon Boulevard. As all of you know well, State Route 84 plays a major role in local commuters and within our region. We, we focus on commute sheds. So here we are in the East Bay, and we have residents that commute through Solano, Contra Costa, Alameda, and Santa Clara County. And these, the Bay Area is like a honeycomb. These corridors go from county to county, and it's particularly important, important that they be seamless and efficient. And um, uh, Bijan mentioned the uh, state bond and included in that was the CMIA program. Well, what that talks about is mobility improvement, corridor mobility improvement. How do we make the commuting uh, corridors for our, our residents more efficient, work better, and to be safer? But I, I know if my boss were here, he would like to say that, uh, you know, he values these projects not just because they improve the, the quality of life and not just because they mean jobs, but they help fulfill the economic development potential across this valley and, and help out all of us in the process. So I want to thank uh, everyone involved in this process. I have a certificate here from, for Alameda County CTC that I'd like to present. And uh, again, thank you very much. Okay. Christy Stinker with Assembly Member Joan Buchanan. Um, I know if she were here today, she would say what an amazing project this is. Um, it's really incredible to see, as someone who actually grew up in the neighborhood you're looking at, um, seeing the improvements through the past you know, 10 years and the past five years, the past two years is really, really incredible. Um, just, you know, wow, amazing. Maria, do you want to? Uh, yes, just on behalf of Marie Anderson with Senator Desaunier's office and on behalf of Senator Desaunier, I just want to thank everyone that was involved in this project and congratulate all members in the community who worked so hard to get this get this accomplished. And um, especially thank you to Amy and Bijan and uh, Supervisor Haggerty for all of your work. Thank you. Yeah. It's extremely gratifying to stand here today and mark the occasion of bringing another high quality transportation project uh, to our community. Our residents have suffered uh, some of the county's most difficult and growing congestion issues. And as we look forward to continued improvement in the regional co economy, the capacity enhancements such as these uh, on Route 84 corridor are going to be critical to get people and goods uh, moving through here and through the South Bay. Uh, which, you know, over $20 million, which is over half the funding uh, provided by Measure B. And as an example of, you know, of a very good taxpayer investment, and we've seen the improvements all throughout Alameda County, but particularly here uh, in the Tri-Valley and in, with the Highway 84 corridor. And uh, Amy Worth said it best, it's all about corridor mobility uh, throughout the entire Bay Area and throughout these subregions of the Bay Area, like the Tri-Valley. I'm really happy to be here for this ribbon cutting, uh, which represents yet another step in the continued transportation improvements in this Tri-Valley Triangle. Uh, the project we're breaking ground on today builds a vital connection between Interstate 580 and Livermore and Interstate 680 through Pleasanton to Sanol. The county has been able to do so much in the past 25 years. Can you imagine what this area would be like? Uh, it's really, really hard to imagine this without the I-580-680 connector, the I-238 widening project. Yay!